Good morning, gurus. Welcome to another beautiful sunrise. I hope you're having an amazing day and have a beautiful weekend. We're going to jump in charts for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Hit the subscribe button, smash up thumbs up button, turn on the bell. Let's jump into technicals for Bitcoin now. We're going to technicals. Google's up 9.9% yesterday after earnings. Um, Exomi was up 4.5%. I was saying it's getting ready to buy. Uh, Partici up 3.8%. I seed invested that company. New Unity 3.4. Tech stocks having a big bounce. Nasdaq up 2%. Microsoft up 1.8%. Meta slightly up. MCRT slightly up. Ethereum slightly down. Bitcoin down 1%. 63,770. Let's start off on the month on the monthly time frame. We're super overboard. Time to buy Bitcoin on the monthly. Each candle here is you're watching Bitcoin move over the time. Each candle represents one month. And as you can see here, the time to buy Bitcoin was down here in 2022, 2023, when we were buying the bottom of Bitcoin at 16K. And as you can see, the stochastic was oversold then. Time to buy. Now the stochastic is overbought. Time to sell. So it's not time to buy Bitcoin, in my opinion. Um, where's Let's go closer. Weekly, stochastic heading down. Um, Crypto Guru bot fired a blue buy back in February 2023 at, at 20,000. It fired a blue buy and it's still a blue buy now on the Crypto Guru bot. You get it in the Crypto Master Course. Volume is dropping, which I'm a little bit concerned about. In two days, we close the volume and it looks like it's going to be a lower volume candle. But let's see what happens in two days. Stochastic heading down. Let's go closer on the daily stochastic trying to head up but volume dropping off um you can see on the elliott wave count this is the elliott wave count we're in this was the first impulse wave this is the first to second corrective wave the second to third impulse wave which is the biggest impulse of the elliott wave count third to fourth corrective wave where we are right now and it depends on where we finish usually 23 percent to 35 percent is the corrective wave and we've already done we've already made a correction Usually it's 23 from the third to fourth corrective wave, 23%. We already did a correction to 19%. 23%, which is the minimum on the corrective waves, would take us to 46K. 35%, which is the maximum, would take us down to 48K. Um, so just keep that in mind. On the daily third to fourth corrective wave, we don't know if it's finished. When we zoom closer, um, this was the rising a rising wedge and I sold this pattern because it builds pressure like this and broke down and then we broke down after I sold which was a nice call um, what I'm seeing here is a low is a rounding top rounding top on Bitcoin which is not a good sign it's a rounding top so easily can come down to 52 just keep that in mind 59k I expect a big bounce on Bitcoin um, and I still will take that as the trade because this is still a rising wedge and usually rising wedges build pressure and they break down. So my target is still that 59K, which is the major support and the true price of Bitcoin, in my opinion. Bitcoin trade would open at 59,534. Stop loss 59,318 and take profit 71K. Risk toward 53 times, risking $216 per Bitcoin to make $11,682 with no leverage. With 10X leverage, it'll be $116,000 profit. That's the trade I would take on Bitcoin, opening again at 59.534. And over on, if you want to trade like you're going to see me do underneath the video, go down below underneath the video. One is the exchanges that I use. Bybit gives you a $30,000 bonus when you meet their trading requirements. Two is the courses. Take the Crypto Master Course to get the Crypto Guru Bot and to learn trading and everything we do. Take all the courses. Otherwise, most likely, you're going to gamble and you're going to lose your money. Take the courses. Learn before you spend this $300 on trading. Um, then join us in the Telegram. There's a few hundred of you, 9,000 of you and a few hundred of you online at any time. Over on Bybit, I've got no trade open right now. Um, funding fee 0.01. You can see I closed my trade at 60 you can see here I sold at 66,000 before the drop. I bought down there at 62,000 and sold at 66, which is beautiful. Um, and you can see I've got no trades open. I've got an order for two Bitcoin at 59,000 because I expect a big bounce from there. In this account, I have 624,000. Um, dropping down a little bit, I've got cash 64K plus cash 316K. So I'm sitting at around 400 cash of this 624,000. So it's more than 50% is in cash. So I'm mainly in cash waiting for dip buys as it comes down. 
And you can see I've got 316 plus about 400k US dollars cash. Bitcoin, I've got one Bitcoin, 64,000. MCIT, 48,000. Slightly up. Bitcoin, slightly down yesterday. Pocket, I've got 40,000. Slightly down, 6%. Would be nice to my trades to close out pockets. Um, Doge, 15,000. Down 3%. I closed a lot of that wall. Down 5%. 15,000. Uniswap, down 4, 3%. So the bounce back is fading now. And you can see I've got buy orders for Bitcoin at 59,000, Doge at 10 cents, Uni at $4, Pocket at 9 cents, World at $2.80, Bitcoin at 52K. I've got buy orders all down to buy up alts. And that's what I'm mainly going to be doing. I'm going to be setting buy orders low. So, um, <clears throat> so for example, I've got buy orders like, at, okay, where would I set a buy order for Ton, for example? I look on the weekly or monthly charts. I look at where the major support is for Ton. And Ton went all the way to $7.80 and it's correcting back down to $5.30. We were buying it back at $1.50. I was talking about it. The major support for Ton, I would say there's a strong one at $4.70. And there's a strong one here at $3.50. So buy area for Ton would be at $3.50 would be a great one. So then I go over to Bybit. I go to Trade. I put Ton. And I set a buy order for Ton at $3.50 would be the great buy area. So I set it at $3.50. In case there's a big spike down and I'll buy $15,000 worth at $3.50 of Ton. Boom. And that buy order is now set. So I've got buy orders for Ton, Bitcoin, Doge, Uni, Pocket, World, Bitcoin. I'm 624 in this account. But again, I'm mainly in cash right now waiting for a dip to buy extreme red fear let's go into ethereum now ethereum 3125 trade open i'll take on ethereum is the same one i set yesterday which is on major support which is at two the real major support i would say is that i mean you could lift it up 2791 this is where i take the trade on ethereum opening it on a spike down on 2791 and then taking it back to the monthly resistance. This is the trade I'll take. Opening 2786, stop loss 2758, take profit 3595, or 3663. Risk to reward is 30 times, risking $28 per Ethereum to make 876. So that's the trade I would open at Ethereum, 2791. So I go over to Ethereum and I set a trade, 272791, and I will buy. This is a derivative, so I'm going long here at 27, <coughs> 2791. And let's get 30 Ethereum at 2791. 30 Ethereum for a bounce. So 30 Ethereum will open at 2791. Boom. 30 Ethereum to buy at 2791. And then I'm going to put take profit and stop loss. Take profit would be at 3663. 3663. And stop loss would be at 2758. 2758. Too little risk. Oh no, 24%. So I'm risking $990 to make $26,000. You see? Risking $990 to make $26,000. Confirm. That's my trade order set for Ethereum. 30 Ethereum to buy at 2791. 2 Bitcoin to buy at 59k, which is beautiful. Again, all the links underneath the video go down below. One is the exchanges that I use. Bybit gives you a 30,000 bonus. Two is the crypto master course to learn all of this. Three, join us in the Telegram. 9,000 of you, usually a few hundred of you online. Right now, there's 137 of you online. What happened to WorldCoin? Um, WorldCoin, we bought it at $2.50. It shot up to like 11 or $12, and now it's coming back down, and I've got buy orders again. For Worldcoin, my buy orders for Worldcoin are sitting at $2.80. Let's see if there's any major support for Worldcoin before $2.80 because it's quite low. $4.60. I've got my major area of support is $2.80 to buy Worldcoin. There's another major area of support at $3.60, um, which it looks like we're about to come down to. But $2.80 is where I've got a lot of buyers for $2.70 is where I'll be buying a lot of world coin. And you can see here, world, I've got buyers to buy 3,500 world at $2.80. Um, so those are my trades on Bitcoin and Ethereum and updates on the market. Hit the subscribe button. 
smash up thumbs up button, turn on the bell. So right now I'm mainly in cash of $630,000 account, 400 plus is in cash. So more than 50% ready to buy the dips. And I've been buying a lot of Tesla lately. Um, in my opinion, everything else besides Tesla and Google is quite overbought except low cap altcoins, but cryptocurrency stocks all overheated. So be very, very careful. Make sure you use this as I teach in the Crypto Master Course and the Stock Guru Master Course. Make sure you use the stochastic indicators. So you can see right now Bitcoin is dropping. 63,800. You can see in the last few hours, Bitcoin starting to drop down. My target is 59k. But again, using going the best indicator to use as I teach you in the crypto and stock room master course, the first thing I teach you volume predicts price. And you can see we've got big volume on Bitcoin, but it is dropping the last few weeks, months. And the second biggest indicator is this one. This is the main one. Whenever the stochastic is over, like this is in the monthly, so 2022 to 2023, Bitcoin was at 16K and it was super oversold on the stochastic down here. You can see it was super oversold on the stochastic as Bitcoin was at 15K, it was super oversold. Now it's super overbought. It's not time to buy it. The time to buy is when it's super oversold. The time to sell is when it's super overbought. If you learn that from me, the, that's the most important thing to learn from me. Love you all. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing weekend and I'll see you all again tomorrow.